What is up, fellow Pyro Fanatics? It's Pimp Daddy 28 here. And today I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a preview to my ball shell comparison demo that I'm going to be doing this year. So this has been a kind of like a few years in the making now. I've been meaning to do this ball shell comparison for about a few years, and I just never really got a chance to get around to it just because I had so much other stuff to demo, and I just, I just didn't have the time for it, apparently. Um, but this year, um, considering that I'm putting the canister shell comparison demo pretty much on hold, I'm going to put it off for next year, so there ain't going to be one for 2023. And instead, I'm going to replace the canister shell comparison demo for this year with the ball shell comparison demo, which uh, I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of a sneak peek, sneak peek preview of, you could say, uh, in this video. So there's going to be about 25 uh, different uh, ball shells. They're going to be in this comparison. I'm going to take two out of each uh, shell kit. And uh, we're going to go through these uh, shells uh, individually here real quick. So we'll start on the left over here. We got uh, Max Explosion by Miracle. Uh, Cutting Edge Liberty Artillery Shell by Cutting Edge. We got some classic uh, shells here called Double Impact. Uh, this is by Bay High. These aren't made anymore. These are about maybe uh, 15 years old or so. Um, but they're very, very good uh, shells. Um, not your typical ball shell, but it's more like an artillery shell. I wouldn't call it a canister shell or anything like that. It's more along the lines of a ball shell. But they're pretty good just because the color is like really good on them. You get to really see them pop more than today's uh, artillery shells. And up here we got the uh, Tiger Tails and Whistles combo. This is by Hardcore Pyro. And over here on top we got a couple of uh, mini ball shell kits. We got uh, Magnum Blast by uh, Magnus. One inch mini shell kit. And over here we got the uh, Special Force uh, mini shell kit. I think these are also uh, one inch shells. Uh, this one's by Dark Knight. And uh, actually, you know what? We'll get to this one at the end. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna talk about this right now. I'll talk about it at the end for you guys. All right, over here we got the Desperado. These are triple break shells. I know they're cylindrical, but uh, it's more along the lines of a ball shell than uh, what you call a canister shell. Uh, it's just a triple break shell inside of a cylinder, pretty much. All right, uh, next we got the Neon uh, Fireworks Ultra HD uh, ball shells. So these are going to have some pretty good uh, color to them. Um, I don't know if uh, either box has like different effects to them or something like that. I'll see. Um, if that's the case, I'll probably take two out of each box. Otherwise, I'll just take one out of each box. All right, over here we got another uh, old artillery shell kit uh, around the same age as the uh, Double Impact. Uh, this one is called uh, Praetorian, and this is a double break shell, and this is by Polywonder. I haven't really demoed these yet, but I guess we'll just have to see them in the comparison for the first time. Um, next, we got Evil Shells by Pyro Demon. And then, of course, the uh, classic Fix in the Fire, the originals, the really good ones by Shogun. And we got Ultimate Power by Winda. And over here on the bottom of the table, we got Ill Separatio by uh, Dark Knight. And Absolute Power with Giant Silver Tail by Winda. And At Balls by Magnus. These are pretty good. Uh, they hit pretty decent from uh, ex my experience with them anyways. Um, next we got Triple Asylum by Dark Knight. These are triple break shells. And next we got Homeland Favorites by Brothers. And Futurama Artillery by Raccoon. And we got Black King uh, by Sunwing. This one I just purchased this year. So uh, this one will be added into the uh, comparison for this year. And Miracle Shells here. We got Artillery Shells by Miracle. As you call them, Miracle Artillery Shells. Your average artillery shell. <laughs> and we got uh, Depth Alone by Winda. These are mine to break uh, egg-shaped ball shells. All right, on the bottom over here, we got Rain Boom Shells uh, by Magnus. I'm assuming these are going to have some pretty good color to them. And over here, we got Mummy Mayhem by uh, Dark Knight. I think these are single. Pretty sure they're singles. 
There's a window on the side over here. Yep, single brake shells. And over here we got Breaking My Balls by Hardcore Pyro. These uh, have some pretty uh, decent brakes to them. I already lit off uh, about two or three of these, and they're, they're pretty decent, I'll say that. They're probably one of the better ball shells in this comparison. And last but not least, we got the uh, Black Box Dragon Artillery. This is the blockbuster kind. This isn't the uh, regular average uh, classic uh, Dragon Artillery shell that, uh, that was made many years ago. This is the good stuff. This is the Dragon Artillery on steroids. I'll just say that much. And this will probably be the last one I demo in the night. Just to kind of toss something in that's a little bit... Eh, that's something that goes boom for some something that goes boom like i guess, guess you could say that <laughs> all right that's pretty much it as i mentioned before 25 uh different uh artillery shell kits and they vary from like the mini uh one inch ones to uh, single brakes double brakes and even triple brakes so i didn't leave it exclusive to like a single brake uh ball shell i even included the multi-brake ones as well all right, so that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this preview, and stay tuned for the demo itself. I'm going to be taking, uh, as I mentioned before, two shells out of each of these uh, shell kits, and I'll have them spread out for the intro to the actual demo, and I'll show you guys what they look like, and then we'll head off to the launch site and light these suckers off. All right, I'll see you guys next time.